one of the privileges is being able to give as many people who have come to take part in these hearings. Good morning. With him is his interpreter and members of his legal team. Omar and my daughter and my family. She was, Lena at that time was in the buggy. Then we say that. So I, was, I, 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 used, uh, I uncovered her face and she was um, smiling. And then she will pretend that she will, she's asleep. Maybe I did that twice or three times. That time, Farah, Farah, my daughter, hugged me, and I didn't know that that night was the night when they will die. So I held my son in my arms that evening, hoping it was all a bad dream, wishing, praying for any kind of miracle that he would just open his eyes. You never know what you are made of until you're broken. And I can tell you this, my wife, she's made of the hardest material I know. And without her strength and courage, I would not be here. She started fading away from me rather rapidly, but she kept going all the way until she was no longer audible. She became, started to mumble started banging the floor, and then finally, no longer responsive. It was at this point I presumed that I'd lost my mum at the same time. But then about 20 seconds later, for the first time that early morning, I heard my mum's voice. She was struggling for breath. Let's take a pause for a second, are we? She was struggling for breath and said her last words, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. That was the last time I heard her voice. Perhaps you'd just like to introduce who's with us this morning. Yes, um, Paulus, um, Isaac's father. I want the truth. I will not have peace until I have the truth. I want to know why I was physically stopped from leaving the flat at about 2 a.m. Why were we kept inside for so long? What was responsible for that recession? I want answer. If I had not listened to the fire brigade, my son would have been likely alive today. At the end, we have Sabah's brother, Arif, on the 23rd floor. We are a very close and happy family. I grew up in a safe home full of love 